it is an amazing and I and I mean it sincerely um, thing um, <coughs> I got a gold I don't know why I got one um, I'm still Maybe it's because I still haven't reached a hundred here on YouTube. I don't know. But I'm not celebrating. Um, I, uh... Um, this is... Um, this is the last day. kind of wish they'd send me home. If you really want to know the truth. Uh, officially my last day is at the end of the week. And then I start the new job on Monday. And I am... Um, Just absolutely um, terrified. <laughs> um, I feel good, but I'm terrified, and I think that that is um, a huge part of it. Um, this transition. actually been terrifying. I'm, I am absolutely 100% terrified. I think I got myself sick because of it. Um, I think my body just wants nothing to do with this entire thing. There is a sense of relief. But, I mean, learning all new things, learning how another you know, business works, learning all that stuff. I, I thought I was long past it. And, um, the post office pushed me too far. I mean, it, it, I held in there. I have to admit, I, I, I held in there way too long, but I held in there as long as I fucking could. I 
said. It took a it took a heck of a lot. And I'm not I don't want to pick on the internet in any way, shape, or form on this, but I have to admit, being a streamer is a bit demoralizing. This isn't, being a streamer isn't for the faint of heart. Because um, somebody told me that my joking about and, you know, things like that, people take offense to it. And I'm just like, what the fuck? I'm probably the biggest supporter they got. take offense to you're gonna take offense to the things that I say is it because the truth hurts I don't know I don't know what the fuck it is I speak for myself for almost almost entirely and I'm very critical I'm hypercritical of myself hypercritical of my singing, I'm hypercritical of everything, and I don't even mind it if people actually, you know, give their opinions. I mean, I have, I've had people tell me that my singing is cringe. I've had people tell me that, you know, I, why don't I do something else? I've even had people tell me, like, well, you draw, you, you write wonderful lyrics, why don't you let somebody else sing it? Hell, I write in my songs how I'm, you know, you know, how I probably shouldn't be singing. Um, art is a totally different thing. Art.
this is new school bus. I don't know if the school bus is running early or late, but I am not used to school buses. Also just had a summer, so this could be the normal. I could be hitting this every day if I was going to be staying at this job. bittersweet but it's not it's it's a long time coming like I said I, I hung in there way too long I overstayed my welcome um, they made two attempts to get rid of me um, I've gotten two letters of removal um, it should have been a hint that they they were just going to do everything in their power to make my life miserable they told me as such I mean it, it's not surprising um, and the truth of the matter is, is that, you know, I don't feel like they're treating me any different. So even if they're not going out of their way to make my life miserable, they're just because they make everybody's life miserable. I just, like I said, I, I when I was in orientation um, and, you know, going through that, the, uh, the guy teaching the course said, just so you know, you're going to have that one day, that one day. And on that day, you're going to want to quit. And I'm telling you, hold out. Stick it, stick it out. After you'll get through that day, and then everything will make sense. Everything will be easier after that day. And um, right in the get-go, as soon as I started, I thought, I, "Let's get this over with. This is the day." And then it never got better. I learned how to do the job, but it never got better. It is, I think that they want the uneducated doing this job so that nobody realizes how much they're getting fucked. I think they want uh, ex-military because people in the military um, do what they're told. And I know it's not, a, it's not a slight against anybody in the military. I think that it's an honorable... Um, I don't think that they realize that um, the intelligence levels in the military are vastly different. But people who would take the job at the post office um, usually don't fall into the more intelligent. And I hate to even put it that way. So, I... There are, there are a lot of people like me who can see the forest of the tree thing is, is that most of them quit right away. And anybody who sticks it out like I did. So I, wanted, I wanted to be clear. Like anybody at the post office who sticks it out like I did. Um, no matter how much you get promoted. No matter how what position you're in. Um, if you don't realize how much you're getting fucked by the post office. Um, you don't, you're not, you, you are literally blissfully ignorant. And in turn, um, 
in order for you to get those promotions, in order for you to get ahead and get the air, get to where you are, you have to step on other people. You have to be a fucking asshole. And I know the nicest people in the world, and they're fucking assholes now to me because because of where they are at. It's a culture that breeds freaking uh, animosity. And they pit people against each other so that they don't see how much they're, it, that basically all they're being offered is scraps. I mean, for uh, the past two months, I've been moving kitty litter and you know 50 pound bags of kitty litter and 50 pound bags of freaking dog food constantly and Amazon's only paying two dollars and fifty cents for it. Constantly. Constantly breaking my back. And out of the two dollars and fifty cents, I'm not even getting most of that. They're expecting me three seconds. They're expecting me to drop it off the front door in three seconds. I used to think that they gave a minute, but they don't. My, my time has been cut down to three seconds. It's an unattainable goal. Because Amazon pays so little for these packages that they don't even take into account. I've moved, you know, 75 pound lawnmowers. I've moved um, 46, 56 inch uh, flat screen TVs. Um, I've, I pretty much have moved everything. In that little freaking tiny truck. Uh, here I am bookshelving, you know, anything that has lots of weight. Amazon just dumps it on the post office. Because they can pay the post office less than they can pay their own carrier. and UPS, oh my god, that's even worse. Because they're getting dumped on by Amazon as well, and so instead of like taking it, um, you know, those two companies come and drop off freaking all those packages. And I don't know what deal they have with Amazon. But it's either less, it's probably a lesser deal, and they're losing money by dropping off those packages at the post office. But that's that's cheaper than paying somebody to drop it off. Postmaster before to joy. Um, I thought she was god awful, but she never delayed the mail. She never, she never put the test of uh, the strength of the institution, and she never tried to break it. Them going after my time because um, I have a better part of a decade in, and 
that's literally the only that's literally the only thing I have I have nothing else They took everything else away. The only thing I had left was my time in and my seniority. And when they told me that because I transferred, and when I transferred, because I transferred to this office um, last year, um, they took it all away. So instead of having nearly a decade, I ended up with less than a year. Lost all my seniority. And when I asked about the buyback program, um, the only thing I could buy back is the year. So I lost everything. Basically starting over. And that's policy. You should have nothing known. Well, there's a reason nobody told me. There's a reason everybody was basically like going, "Oh, we, we get a, we get a, we, we need an RCA. Let's grab the RCA." But now with a year in, everybody who got hired last year who are now eligible to bid on routes and everything like that are my seniors. Everybody. That's what I had a nervous breakdown. That's what was going on. I can't get any help for it. Um, they had um, the Employment Assistance Program, the EAP, and I don't know what the fuck they were thinking. But the fact that they said I'm going to be getting money and I'm going to be getting this job, and uh, you know, they basically just blew friggin' sunshine and smoke up my ass, which. Instead of making me feel better, it made me feel worse. And then me calling around to all of these suggestions that they had, and not a single fucking one of them calling me back. Because none of them were in my town. And a few of them that I actually got a hold of were not accepting new patients. called me back as a follow-up they asked me if they could send me another list and they did even though I told them no and then two weeks after that they did their usual fucking follow-up and uh, asked me if they wanted me to they, they wanted to contact somebody um, so I could get the help that I need. And I'm like going, well, you should have fucking done that in the first place. I didn't say fucking. You should have done that in the first place. I said because I'm quitting. I'm out. I can't take it anymore. I have fucking nothing left. I have nothing left.
86, they would be 96 now. Uh, I haven't checked up, but a lot of things have changed. I've been around so much, I'm freaking uh, um, like a mainstay.
stream was just a complete and total disaster. two minutes um, for a 17 minute uh, stream and just so you know that's huge that means that some people actually watched it all the way, probably watched it all the way through but 100 147 46 47 um, people have viewed it It's gone up so rapidly um, that it hasn't even hit the popular videos yet. And it makes up the bulk of my views. So my views just spiked out, you know, pretty much through the roof. And it's all because of this one video. Morning Commute has been my worst viewed um, thing since I created it. And I, I actually thought that with the exception of Necro, um, that nobody else was even watching it. I thought I had one fan because I, I let's be realistic um, most of them only have one or two views um, the fact that the interview one um, has so many views right now um, like I don't even I, I wish I could bottle that I wish I can you know make that for all my videos um, and like I said duration you know, it's a longer duration than most of my videos. Um, who knows? I might actually, you know, if I do that more often, if my most popular video, my most popular video is no longer um, a, a music parody. How insane is that? I Iron Mouse was the queen. She was the top. 
Nobody would even compete with it. Um, she would still get views every now and again. Um, ever since uh, Iron Mouse um, showed um, that video on her stream, it has been going up like gangbusters. It has been non-stop. Um, it is definitely my most popular video. Um, because it's only five minutes long, it's actually less than five minutes. Um, I think it's three minutes, 60, three minutes, 60 seconds, it's four minutes, three minutes, 50, 52, 53 seconds, something like that. Um, um, there are not a lot of lyrics, um, with the Iron Mouse parody of, um, Iron Man by Black Sabbath. And they, uh, Um, I thought that that's how my views were going to always be. Um, it had the big, huge spike. It broke 100. Um, it overtopped uh, all with Mayune. Eh, all with Mayuni. Um, and uh, the parody of All That Jazz from the Chicago play. And, um, which was the previous number one. And you, like when you think about it, like the number three was um, Rainbow Connection, uh, Kermit the Frog cover. Um, number four, I believe, is um, the uh, um, the Nux. Um, I think it's the first one. It's either the first or the third. The second one was never that popular. Um, and it's the Nuxtaku, um, Hamilton parody from King George. I don't know which one it is. I don't believe it's all three, but it's definitely, it's definitely one of them. Um, which again, I've divided that up. And when you look at those numbers, it's like all of a sudden it goes, it goes from 137, it goes, then it goes to 119. Then it goes to 87. Then it goes to 76. And literally just drops right off. Um, the tens, the tens views and stuff like that. They, you know, those, those, um, are, have been, you know, rotating around and stuff like that. Um, the music videos have not been that popular. Um, and I've even said it before. I said it, it could take one person one person, one singular person, and not to make all, not to, um, you know, go do make the most popular video, but it could take one person to basically change the entire, um, analytics on my site. One person, because that's how few views I was getting. One person could change it all. And I've had people come in and I've had people watch a whole mess of videos and it, literally changes everything I have to reshape the entire I reshape the entire channel because one person changed how the analytics were reading things but I gained I gained two followers um, we are now 14 14 away 14 away from 100. 14 away from actually freaking celebrating something. It's been over a year and a half, and I'm now 14 away. But I almost a year and a half. It's been so long. But yeah, it's been so long since I thought I was going to hit the 100. And again, not about numbers. Nothing, freaking, the numbers don't matter. Obviously, you know, if the numbers matter, I would have quit quit streaming a long time ago. They don't freaking matter. Don't think for one second that they do. 
none of it matters. Um, I am going to probably do the 14 subscriber push um, in these next four days. And um, that seems like it's a plan and a half. I'm thinking about doing a sleepathon, and I am thinking about um, um, setting up a celebration and discussing that um, as a mutual um, Twitch, YouTube, um, Twitter. Um, you know, all the celebration. Um, I am a heartbeat away from um, finishing the 100 day challenge, um, the 100 day anime challenge, which I would love to celebrate that. Um, I almost had my first uh, get to know me, um, which required 50 likes, which again, for me to have more than three likes on anything that I posted is amazing to me. It, it's just, it's, it's, it's kind of crazy when I think about it. Um, but, um, but yeah. I have, a, I have 177 followers on Twitch. I don't even know how that happened. Um, it's, it's absolutely amazing to me. I am... I have 4,300 followers on Twitter. Which blows my mind that there's that many. Um... It is definitely transitioning into streamers and VTubers and, you know, all that stuff. And I I don't know why it's not translating to, um, I, I think it is, just very slowly. And there, and there will always be YouTube. You guys will always be, I mean, I want you to know you're the special ones. Um, you, you mean the most to me. I mean, YouTube is where I started. YouTube is where I've continued. Um, you know, I don't... I don't have, you know, there's not huge amounts of ad revenue coming in from my streams. Um, I believe I only have four subscribers left. Um, there is no money. There's no money to be made. Um, and there's so little money to be made that it hates the fact that I turned off the ad, um, the ads, the ads in my stream. It hates it. It's been fighting me every fucking step of the way. Um, I probably should go in. I have some paperwork to fill out. I have some things to do. I have this. Which, if you're wondering what this is, this is my official resignation letter that uh, um, should get me out of the system. And I will be gone from the system permanently. Um, this will allow them to transition um, with a new person and um, do all those things. The new person, uh, again, quit abruptly and is still in the system. It's, that's how insane this is. Do the wrong thing and you're still in the system. But do the right thing and you, they kick you out. It's the reason why they... The reason why the first postmaster that I worked for was a sexual predator. There's a reason for that. Because instead of firing them, they just shifted them around. There's a reason for that.
You guys take care. I hope um, you enjoy whatever you do for a living. Um, it doesn't have to be, you know, saving, you know, um, saving the world or anything like that. It could just be for money. But I hope you don't hate doing it. Because I can't think of anything worse than just hating, you know, hating yourself, the fact that you have to do this to survive. The culture, the culture in the post office is, um, uh, live to work. They, they will take everything that they possibly can and they expect even more out of you. Um, I got reprimanded for not taking expresses, um, when they sent me to do a Sunday Amazon, which I... The back history of that is going to be a long story, and I will probably get to that one time later. But um, they told me that I would never work Amazon again, and now they're trying to force me to work Amazon. And I was fine with the fact that they said I would never work it again because I never wanted to work it in the first place. What used to be a little bit extra spending cash in my pocket turned into um, a complete and total detriment where they didn't pay me for the miles, the they drive and make me drive all over the place and they weren't paying me for the miles to get there and then they weren't paying me for the time that I was actually physically working but they were still using me and um, they thought that uh, taking it away was going to you know be a punishment and was actually the biggest reward they could have given me but no they decided that my punishment was over, and uh, they're now going to force me back into it. And it's one, of, it's another one of the reasons why I needed to leave. Um, yeah, but you guys, like I said, I hope you enjoy the thing. Um, write cool beans or something. Um, somebody commented. I, I was actually kind of like, ah, somebody finally commented um, in one of my videos, and uh, I, I'm a spaz. Thank you for the comments. Thank you. I, I, I can't think you know, can continue to comment. It's you have no idea like how much like it it changes my world. My entire world changes because of that. Likes are fine. Like I, I you can like it all you want. Like it, don't like it. I don't care. Um but the comment, that's everything. Um you guys are absolutely wonderful and the support you have been get, getting Oh my God! It's true. if I'm going to cry, that's what that that's what I'm going to cry about. Because I'm a fucking huge crier, and I'm not going to cry for this job. Um, so um, let me cry on stream. Um, I will probably do a stream later today. Um, and I love you guys. I love you so much. And you know, thank you for dealing with me, and putting up with me. And actually encouraging me to be a better person. Um, and I hope that I am that better person. I hope that I'm either I am or I'm becoming that better person. I really do. Um, and you guys can be proud of yourselves. Give yourself a freaking pat on the back. Um, for that. Because you guys are amazing. And it really, really has helped me through this. And hopefully it helps me through... The transition with the new job because I am scared to death. Scared. I'm. I'm terrified. I don't even know what to. I don't even know how to put it. I am scared. Um. So thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you, and uh, as always, cool beans. All right, and take care of yourselves. All right, bye.